Welcome to Electron Line. Looking back in history, there was a time that people went beyond just observing where the sun rose or set in the winter and the summertime. It came to try and understand what the heavens were all about, what we saw out there, and what it all meant. And so people began to observe the planets, and at the time, five planets could be seen with the naked eye. We have Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn were all visible in the night sky and fairly bright. Matter of fact, Mars, Venus and Jupiter are the three brightest objects in the sky before any star. And so therefore, people were watching those and they could see that those things moved relative to the stars. We also knew that the, the sky was always changing or, or the heavens were always changing, that different constellations would appear during different times of the year. And of course, things would change on a nightly basis as well. And there was this strange motion as well with the planets that sometimes we would see planets move in one direction from night to night to night. So just like the stars, throughout the year they would then move in different positions but then that motion would then stop and the star or in this case the planet would then move in the opposite direction for a while before it then resumed its normal trajectory through the sky and so we call this retrograde motion and that was something that was very difficult to explain even when people began to really start studying uh, mathematics and geometry and they started making sense of what they're seeing in the sky and so the power of observation was then beginning to take place and then the reasoning along it, trying to explain what they were seeing. So one of the things that they thought that, well, how can we explain that motion like this exists in the, in, the, in the universe? Well, they would then say, well, maybe there's this motion where it would then go along a trajectory like this. And so that trajectory then would be called the deferent, the main trajectory along around the Earth. But then there would also be this secondary motion, this, like a circular motion going around like that in circles, and we call that epicycles. And this was one of the theories that was brought forward by a Greek scientist called Apollonius from Perga. And he lived in 262 BC to 190 BC. And so people began to, to look up in the sky and try to make sense out of what they were seeing. Now, in this case, the power of observation and the reasoning failed them because that was not really what was happening. Now, of course, you know that's not the case at all, but it was a good attempt to try and figure out what was going on. This theory of deferring and epicycles was something that hung around for a very long time, for well over a thousand years, trying to explain what was going on in the sky. But you will see that there were some other discoveries made with the same principle, going out and looking for data, for looking for observations, and trying to figure out what was happening in the sky. So some of the fellow uh, Greeks that lived around the same time of Apollonius did come up with some amazing discoveries. And if you want to know what those were, stay tuned and we'll show you in the next video.